what did Confucius say? Well, to begin with, Confucius really did talk in those one-liners that he's famous for. His sayings are collected in a, in a book called uh, the Lunyu, or Analects, which means uh, the collected sayings of Confucius. They were compiled by his disciples. Confucius was a teacher, um, and he taught, what he taught was a, a variety of subjects, not dissimilar, really, to our own notion of the liberal arts. Confucius kind of refused to pick a major, so to speak. He thought it was important to study a, a wide variety of things. But what was important about Confucius was less what he taught than why he taught it, the purpose that he saw behind the liberal arts. He said to one of his disciples, um, you think I know a great many things, don't you? And the disciple said, well, you do, don't you? And he said, yes, but there's one thread running through it all. What was important to Confucius was the purpose uh, of what studying all these things was for. And he had a word for that. Uh, the word was zhen, um, which is usually explained by reference to the construction of the character. The left-hand side of the character is a pictograph for a person, um, and the right-hand side is the number two. And the idea is that zhen is two people, or people together, or community and society. And what Confucius realized was the value of all these things that we learned, all this knowledge that had been handed down from previous generations, was that it made it possible for people to be together. And if you think about it, that's still completely true. Um, the reason we're able to be together in this room is because people handed down the traditions of architecture and things like that. It's because we've learned how to get water in and sewage out that we can have 3.8 million people living together in Los Angeles. It's it's knowledge and education that makes it possible for us to live together. And not just in a physical way, like buildings and cities, but also, arguably more importantly, in a, a spiritual way. Because, you know, what is language but a tradition? It's something that we learned. And it's because these things have been passed down and because we've learned them that we can get outside of our own minds and communicate our thoughts and share in the thoughts and the lives of others. And this was the real purpose of education for Confucius, to construct uh, human community. So the real point of Confucius, as I understand it, is that it's our relationships with, with other people that make our lives worthwhile, and that the real purpose of an education is to structure and to support uh, those kinds of relationships. You can go through an education just learning a bunch of collected facts, but in order to really get the most out of it, you have to understand the, uh, the single idea that threads through it all, which is to try to make our lives together as productive and happy as possible.